hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how we can sum the data table column now here you see I have build data table and in build data table I have created two columns one is date another is amount and I specify some of the values now what I want I want that the bot to print the sum of this particular column the amount column so I know that this is very basic and it can be done in a different ways it can be done through the looping it can be done through the link queue again in the link queue it can be done through the method syntax or the query syntax now here is a catch I want to do the sum of each values but there can be some empty values or there can be some cells which have any values here so in that case how we can do it with the help of link queue so first we will going to achieve this particular case where we don't have any empty amounts or the amount which have any values so you can take an excel file also if you want to take input you can take from the excel file also for now i'm using a build data table now in build data table i am storing a data into dt data which is again if you go to the variable it's a data table type then if you see the assign activity in the assign activity to the left i have created one variable dbl underscore sum now dbl underscore sum the variable type is double now if you didn't find this system dot double here you can go for the browse for types and then you can write down system dot double here system dot double and then you can select this one okay now to the right if you see I have put the syntax which is again a link you syntax which we call it method syntax dt data dot as innumerable dot sum then function in the bracket row and then I am specifying the column which column I want to do the sum of each row basically so and also I am converting the values to the double now if I run this the output will be 387.2 I am doing it I am converting into the C double because I am using a decimal values also here as an amount now let's add some more rows I'll add one more row here 7 7 2023 and I will keep it as a blank for now 7 8 2023 I will put some amount here I will put here 10 okay then after that let me run this code again now when I'm going to run this it will throw some exception we can see it it is saying that conversion from type DB null to type double is not valid because in the data table we have a empty value there a null value is there so it is not able to convert that value to the double right so for that what is the step that there are two ways to do it either you use a filter data table and remove all the empty values or the values which have any and then you calculate it then even then you use this particular syntax it will work but somehow if there is a situation where you know you want to do something with the same data you don't want to remove it so in that case what you can do is you have to change the syntax in this way so if you see I have put the if condition here now this we call it inline if where if string is null or empty okay then it should be a zero here otherwise it should take the as it is value so wherever it finds the empty value it will put zero in that case it will not going to throw an exception it will consider it now if I'm going to command this one and 
going to run this it will not going to throw any exception and will print the result okay now there can be a situation where we will have some any at some places now for that what you have to do you have to improve your syntax you have to basically put one more extra condition just let me enable it then i will show you now here what i have done i have used one more if condition here where it says that it is equals to any it is equals to any one one if condition is saying that okay the string is null or empty and it should be zero now if if the value is any then it should be considered as zero otherwise the other values will be considered as the double values mean that it should convert those values into the double now when you run this particular portion the bot will going to give you the result without giving any error now this is how you can use to calculate the sum if in the rows or in the cell we have any or the empty values still we can do that with the help of link you thanks for watching my video i will back with some more interesting videos thank you so much